Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am super excited because I am filming one of my favorite videos to film ever, which I haven't filmed in so long. I'm filming a try-on haul for you guys. And honestly, I was supposed to film one of these such a long time ago, and I even bought things like a while ago that I bought specifically to put into a haul, but I haven't had the chance to do it until now because I've been spending all of my money on makeup. And the most exciting part of this video is that I'm going to be splitting it into two parts. So the first part of the haul will be right now, the one you're watching, and the second part of the haul will probably be up sometime soon after this one, so be looking out for that. And the reason that I'm splitting this into two is one, because I felt like it would be a lot to put into one video, and two, because I actually ordered from a website called Pretty Little Thing, and there's just a lot of complications with their customer service, and I did not have the greatest experience with them. It was the first time that I ever ordered from them. If you guys want to hear like a separate video on that, I can do that for you guys. I don't know if I will or not, just because I don't really want to make a whole video talking bad on a company, but if you do want to see that, then let me know down below. Also, if you guys like me and do like my channel and you like videos like these, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you guys here. And this intro is super long already, so without further ado, if you guys want to see my try on haul, then please keep watching. Okay, so I guess I'll just go ahead and start out with what I'm wearing. This is just a yellow Fila cropped long sleeve top. And it is from a website called Cole and Terry. I only got one thing from their site because honestly their site was pretty pricey. But I could not resist this top because I really like this yellow color a lot. Um, also I will be mentioning the sizes that I got each item in. And all links will be down below to the website to where I got and like the direct links to each item. That way you guys can go and check them out for yourselves if you want to purchase any of them. This top is a size small and it's a super thin material. I know it's long sleeve so like why would you get it for the summertime? But it's super thin so I won't get too hot in it. And it's also cropped so I think it would be good for the summertime with like a pair of high-waisted jean shorts. I think it would be really cute. So the next two things I'm gonna be showing you guys I actually got a pretty long time ago. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But when I bought these items, I bought them specifically knowing that I wanted to put them into a haul but I just never got around to filming a haul. So I'm going to put them in here anyway. You've probably seen me wear them, but we're going to put them in here anyway. So this is from Urban Outfitters, and this is just a regular Adidas t-shirt. I also have a stain on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's okay. I just really like this color a lot. I think it's super flattering, and I like wearing this with a pair of either high-waisted leggings or a pair of high-waisted jeans. And I'll kind of just like knot it up in the front. You guys will see on the try on. I'll probably wear it like that. But I just kind of knot it up in the front to make it look like a crop top. And I think that shirts like these are super great for if you go to school or if you just are running errands and you don't want to get like super dressed up. It's just a good way to be casual and cute at the same time. By the way, I got this shirt in a size small. I have to put these in here because I'm obsessed with these leggings. I have always owned a pair of Lululemon Wonder Unders, but never the high-rise pants. And these are the most comfortable leggings in the world. So basically these leggings are just like the Wonder Unders, but they come up like a high-waisted pant and they have a really thick band. So if you want to wear a crop top with these, these pants literally suck everything in and make your body look amazing it makes my waist look so small and they hug your body in literally all of the right places and they're such a good material and these leggings are pretty pricey but i definitely recommend them because these literally last you a lifetime and once you start wearing these you'll never want to wear another pair of leggings again because these are just the best ones out there i'm obsessed with these leggings and i definitely recommend them to you guys I believe I'm in a size 4. So the next two items I'm going to show you guys are from Forever 21. And this is just a really pretty like satin looking romper. And it's just this rose color and it knots here in the front. And I literally wanted to buy this romper on Laura's Boutique. I love Laura's Boutique and their stuff is so reasonably priced. But I swear to you, this exact romper, I wanted to buy off of Laura's, but it was sold out in my size. And I go into Forever 21 
and it has a $10 tag on it. So it's super cute, it just ties in the front, it's super thin and it has like these little scrunched cuffs on the sleeves which I think is really really cute and I think this color is really pretty and nice for the summertime and this is in a size small. And then I just went ahead and got another romper from Forever 21 and this is just a florally light pink romper and it has like these cute little details on the edges of the material and then it ties in the front on the waist and then in the back it kind of has like this, I want to call it a keyhole, I don't really know what else to call it. And rompers have always been a favorite for me for summer because you literally just put on a romper, throw on some sandals and you have an outfit put together, you don't have to like spend time digging through your closet trying to match an outfit, you literally just put this on and it's so easy and comfortable and great so yeah this is in a size small as well. And the last store I will be showing you is Laura's Boutique. Laura's Boutique has easily became one of my absolute favorite websites to shop from lately. Their stuff is such good material, such good material, I'll talk about this, but, and it's such a good price. I've never really found a top that was over, I think $20 in their store. Under $20 for each shirt for the quality of the material is really not that bad at all. And not to mention, all of their stuff is so cute and they're always putting out new releases. It sounds like I'm sponsored by them right now. I wish I was. If you want to hit me up, Laura's Boutique, let me know. So the first thing I want to show you guys from Laura's is actually this romper. And I think this has easily became one of the favorite rompers that I own. It is just this really pretty white floral romper. And it's super flowy. Again, has like that little flap over. And it has a zipper in the back. I just feel like this romper is so nicely made and it has wiring like along the top of the romper um, where it's strapless and it also has lining like a hard lining on the sides honestly I feel like this just like feels expensive I don't know like it may not look like all that to you guys but for what I paid for it I feel like this romper is so amazing and it's so cute on and I got this romper in a size small. The next thing I bought from Laura's is this bandeau and it's just this light pink color and it's ribbed and super stretchy. I believe this was one size fits all and I think it would be one size because it's definitely really stretchy and you can adjust these straps in the middle. But I think that this top would be so cute with a pair of like loose ripped boyfriend jeans and like a pair of like black fishnets like peeking through the top and then this I think it would be so cute and I feel like I'll be getting a lot of use out of this top over the summer I love bandeau tops like this especially since I live in Florida and get super hot over here these are great okay so this next top from Laura is probably another one of my favorite things that I got in this entire haul and it's just this crochet purplish pinkish crop top and it has off the shoulder short sleeves and I love crochet knit tops like this for summer I think it's so pretty how many times am I gonna say pretty and girly I don't know but honestly there's just no other words for this top other than it's so pretty and I feel like it just looks very beachy um, in Florida I feel like a lot of girls wear like this knit crochet top like this I think it would be super pretty with a black long maxi skirt but I'll probably be wearing this shirt a lot of different ways over the summertime and I got this shirt in a size small slash medium the next top that I got from Laura's is pretty much just a staple item that I feel like I definitely needed in my wardrobe. And this is just a black bodysuit. And the only thing I don't like about this bodysuit is that it is kind of like diaper butt. Honestly, it's not a thong. And I have a few bodysuits from Naked Wardrobe and they're like the thong in the back, which I think is great. And I wish all bodysuits were like that, honestly, but this isn't that big of a deal. If I have thick enough jeans, it probably won't show. But yeah, this is just a spaghetti strap black tank top bodysuit and I love tucking these into high-waisted jean shorts or high-waisted jeans and this also has the same sizing so I got this in a small slash medium so the next thing I got from Laura's honestly I'm not too happy with I'm kind of disappointed but if anybody knows where to get a pair of jean high-waisted shorts that don't have your butt hanging out of the back because believe it or not, I do not want my butt cheeks to show in my shorts. 
please let me know down below because I cannot seem to find a pair anywhere in my 18 years of living. I have yet to find a decent pair of jean shorts. These are actually really cute, which is why it makes me upset that they don't fit me the way I would want them to. But these are like the demi denim, I believe, on her site. And they have these rips in the front and they look like this in the back and they're obviously just distressed on the bottom. And the shorts on Laura's are kind of a weird sizing because you only have the option for small, medium, or large. And I honestly thought these were gonna come in and be too big on me. These are a size small. I thought they were gonna be too big because Laura's body is banging. She has a big butt and a small waist. But I was like, oh, if her butt can fit into those, like, my butt's not going to be hanging out the back, but my butt still hangs out the back. And this girl's waist must be really tiny because I was suffocating in these. These are so tight on the waist and then my butt hangs out of the back. So I just, I don't know what to do. I can't find a good pair of jean shorts anywhere. I'll try these on for you guys anyway. You guys can tell me if they look okay on me or not. Tell me what you guys think. And the last few things I got from Laura's, I guess, fall into the accessories category. So I got the Instagram famous push-up whatever strapless bra. So I haven't tried this yet because I'm deciding whether or not I want to film a review on this and do a whole video on this. I posted on my Snapchat if anybody wanted to see me do a review on this and surprisingly a lot of people said yes. And I'm not too sure how I would do this because I don't know if I just want to try this on in front of the camera, it's a little bit weird. So I'll probably do it like under a shirt if I do. If you guys want to see this, I'm telling you guys to comment some of the things down below, but if you guys want to see this in a video, then let me know because I haven't even tried it yet. And I'm waiting on trying it to see if I want to film a video and do like a first impressions review on camera. And this one specifically is called the Lala Bra. And this was on Laura's and it was only $10, which isn't bad at all because sticky boobs I know are usually pretty expensive and I was expecting that to be a lot more pricey. So $10 isn't bad, which is why I got it because I was like, whatever, $10, I'll try it. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. If it does, then I'm excited. <laughs> and the last thing I got, I'm not gonna lie, was kind of one of those things where I was a little bit low on shipping, I needed five more dollars to get free shipping versus paying ten dollars shipping, so I threw this in there. Which I actually tried it on and I think it's pretty cute and I didn't know it came with earrings, but basically it's just this black choker with this gold circle hardware in the middle and I tried it on and I really like it and I think I'll be wearing it. It's like this black kind of velvety material. And yeah, I love chokers. I don't think that they will ever go out of style. I'm a big fan of them. I think they're super cute and add great detail to an outfit. So I'm glad I ended up liking this because I wasn't gonna get it originally until the end. So this is the end of part one of my spring to summer fashion haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see the part two of this video, definitely be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see that one. And give this video a thumbs up if you like when I do try on hauls like these. I love filming them. I'm definitely going to try to do more in the future. By the way, thank you guys so much for almost 2.5 thousand subscribers. Honestly, I'm in shock by how fast my following and family has been growing. And it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you guys so much for that. That is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time.